depends on. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Um, happy Thursday, February 8th. Um, I'm with my beautiful friend. She's amazing, Donna Dallas. We're at the Grand Bohemian in the gallery. Um, our beautiful friend uh, Flynn is helping us out today. She's over in the corner. Uh, Bob came on. I love Bob. Bob, let us know you can hear us hey, and see Bob. us. Um, I can actually read from here, so we're in good shape. Jen Waterman, let us know you can hear us and see us. Uh, we're in a different place, so we're doing remote, and we just want to make sure we capture everything because, oh, Dana Clary came on. See, I can see this, oh, Ken yeah. Darden. There's lots of good people coming on, of yeah. course. So just make sure that, you, that we, okay, you can, you can hear us. Hello, yes, hey, Jen. All right, so I have been trying to get Donna on the show <laughs> for a while because she's so talented, and who else can say they have the title of Orlando's Ambassador of Love, which we'll get to, but your artwork, I'm surrounded by your artwork. You can see some of it behind you. Uh, and Donna is having a, uh, Dana Clary says, love you. We love you, we love, love Dana. You. Um, you're having an exhibit that starts tomorrow. So of course, where are we gonna film the show? We're gonna do it right here in the gallery at uh, the Grand Bohemian. So thank you for agreeing to come on the show. I'm so excited to have you here. All right, give them a little bit of background on you. I, I read your bio. I was fascinated by it, of course. I knew a little bit about you before, of <laughs> course, but uh, give them, a, how did you start? You weren't always doing art full time. No, I was not. And how did you start in this whole... Uh, I've had an amazing and Oh, Jeff King. You know Jeff King? Interesting journey. I love hey, it. Jeff. Um, my father was in the military. We traveled all over. Um, I ended up in Washington, D.C., and I thought I would go into political um, events. And I went on a job interview at the uh, sports stadium uh, where the Washington Redskins played. So I got into sports and entertainment. RFK Stadium, the Capitol Center, Washington, D.C., moved to Florida to the Lakeland Civic Center, so I, that was my first career running entertainment venues. So you ran them, did you do, that's how you I know Jeff. Booking, Jeff was Jeff's ticket master, right? Because he's a fraternity brother of mine. Booking, and it's amazing. Um, then I moved to Orlando in um, 1987 when they were opening the old Amway Center, but always in my heart I wanted to be an artist. My mother was an artist, and I wanted to be an artist and go to school to be an artist. I had the great pleasure of meeting so many interesting and dynamic entertainers and professionals, but I met Andy Warhol. And yeah, see, that's it. huge. And in the 70s, because uh -huh. that's when so much of his stuff became pop he culture. He was the it guy. He was, he the, was it the guy. total it guy. And Studio 54, right? All, Allegedly. All of it. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> and um, so he said to me, are you an artist? And I said, yes. He said, then, if you're an artist, be the artist. Now, it took me a few more years after that, but and I was still working at Ticketmaster, and I just decided, all right, I'm not going to go to school. I don't have time, so I'm just going to get the tools and get the brushes and start painting. But how did you know you were an artist? Did you, did you it paint? Called pre me. It called me. I was always you. doing artistic things, and okay. my mother was an artist, so I was around art, and I loved art and uh, followed uh, art and music and entertainment, so it was all very inspiring. What, what kind of, what was the platform that your mom used? What was her? She, she was oil. She painted oil. landscapes. Okay. Yeah, she, she was a landscape painter. So, um, and, your, and your dad? He was in the military. Okay, the that's right. So, he moved around all the time. But the creative part, you think, came from mom? Yes, and yes. being involved with the entertainers and seeing all the colors and the designs and the set designs and theater and Broadway. And I was always doing little things, decorating the dressing rooms for the uh, entertainers, and I, and I loved it. And so I said, well, I'm just going to paint and put these things out there, give them to my family and friends for uh, Christmas. And I went to a small gallery down on Virginia Avenue here in Orlando called uh, Gilded Frame. Sure. And I had my first show in the 90s, and the rest is history. This is my heart and soul exhibit number 14. I've been showing here at the Grand Bohemian. So honored and proud for 14 years now. And it's so beautiful. Uh, I wish we could pan, but we'll talk about the exhibit starting tomorrow and it goes till March 12th. But it, everything is so beautiful. You're only catching a little bit of it. We've got some of it right behind us and then some to Donna's. I'm terrible about what you're, it's her right, so I'm not sure how you guys are seeing over it. Over here. It's over, over yeah, here. That side. But that um, side. there's over 60 pieces, 60 pieces of art. Um, and it's like a retrospective of my work. I'm known for my hearts. You are. You know, the heart artist, I am known for that, but I also paint 
faces and dresses and angels and other. I'm a mixed media artist, so I put a lot of things together. I like putting things together. You like to together. put it together. What was your first yeah. piece when you said, all right, I'm going to paint? Uh, normally, I don't need it. Oh, there we go. So, sorry, we've got a little bit of an internet thing here. We love you. Hey, Bob. Um, yes, we're going to be here on the 9th. We love you guys. All right, so I was asking Donna. We've got a little bit of a connection thing here. It's probably my iPhone. Um, but your first piece, you talked about, you decided to and then you gave your first pieces to your family. To my family what was the first friends. piece? Was it hearts? Yes. yes. Okay, so you knew the that. hearts just came pouring out of me. This, this thing about love and, and growing up and moving every two years, one city to another to another, you are always the odd person out because sure. you were in someone else's city and you had to start over with the school and the friends. And it was always challenging, but as we continue to learn in life that these challenges come before us to prepare us for the life that lies ahead. So at some point along the way, fear left me. I, I don't have fear. I can talk to people. I can connect with people. I love people. I love the people. I am a woman of the people. You are. And I, I you know, grew up in the uh, sports and live entertainment, lots and lots and lots of men and very few women. But I was able to stand up, be strong, not be afraid to say my opinion. Not that everyone always accepted it, but that's the same with all of us. But I think when, when people, I, I believe anybody would say this, this is how I feel. When I walk in a room and Donna's there, you have this immediate acceptance mm -hmm. and you. grace. I said grace earlier, but really you have this grace and people um, flock to you, I think, because you really do love people and there is nothing inauthentic, unauthentic about Donna and people are, are starving for that kind of uh, relationship, that kind of connection and you put it out there. You, you're not afraid to wear your heart, so to speak, on your sleeve and you put it out there and then you express yeah. yourself in your art and that's really a putting it out there. That's putting your heart and soul, here we go, look, I'm bringing it all together. Putting your heart and soul into everything and people can feel it. And when you're around you, you feel nothing but love and you're, you. it's comfortable, you. it's, it's good. So um, how did you, so when you did the first heart, you, that was, you had, what, an epiphany that said, all right, this is what oh, I'm gonna do. I said do. I love doing this and I just and you're gonna painting and teaching myself. I'm self-taught as an artist. That's I've, amazing. I've taken some workshops. I love being around other artists. Um, I love looking at art. I love understanding it or not understanding it. it. I'm inspired by so many different things. But my true passion and my true mission is love. Love of humanity love of one another, love of the arts. When you walk around a city, and I don't care what city it is, if there's no art, if there's no art in the architecture, if there's no movement and no flow, it's bricks and mortar. Agreed. Art brings things to life. It does. Brings us to life, brings our city to life, brings our work environment to life, brings our home to life. Um, everyone can raise their hand and say, at one year old, you are an artist. At two year old, you are an artist. At three years old, you are an artist. We, we're all artists. And then somewhere along the way, we don't know what happened. Well, but somebody probably said, you, you aren't great at that. Or, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of people don't get encouraged or they, get, um, they don't have the positive reinforcement or maybe even the, or the, interest. Or the interest. I, I don't know. I think we all find our way. I was talking with Ted earlier and I said, I really truly believe that the universe brings us all together, this higher power that we live in, and, and um, you know, it gives us a balance. It, it, it teaches us about harmony and balance. Sometimes it's very extreme, as we know in today's world, 100%. today's society. Right. But yet, when we stand up for love and when we take time to say, how are you? How are you? How are you feeling today? That Just is such that, an important thing. If, if I think people, if you would just reach out, I had a, uh, a moment a week ago or earlier this week, it could have been, I can't even know what, I don't even know what day it is <laughs> right now. Um, Thursday. Thursday, thank you. February 8th. February 8th. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> she was going to get it. I love it. I um, but I had a moment and I needed that connection that um, for people to reach out, for people to say, hey, how are you? And I think it's so simple if we would just do that more often with the people that are in our lives. Uh, and hopefully even if this show 
makes you think, man, there's somebody I'd like to connect with or I haven't talked to in a while. It's so important because people want to feel connected to, they want to feel like um, they're checked in on. It's mm-hmm. such a small, simple thing to do. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's a great showing of love. I agree with you. I think it's so easy and yet people get so caught up. You get so caught up in your own day and I understand that that happens, but I think it's so important that you get out there and you reach out to the people you love. If you haven't talked to somebody in a while, shoot them a text even, I call them, send a message on Facebook. It's really easy to keep in touch with people, but we forget because we get caught up in our own uh, crazy world. Yeah, so take time for love. Take, take, time, for take love. time for love. So you, you mentioned the city and I want to talk about the city a little bit because okay. you're, the, you're the official ambassador of love for Orlando. I mean, so how did that all come into play? I love Mayor Dyer, I do so much. How did that come into play that you were designated as that? Well, I've been involved in the community, I mean, for over 27 years. I I think if you're gonna live in a community, you should be involved in the community. I wanna know what's going on. I like to see what's going on. And I've been doing art shows for a number of years and I was um, involved and, and still I'm involved with City Arts Factory in the Downtown Arts District and helping to continue to develop that. I mean, there was a time when we really didn't have an art scene. But we, we didn't. But we do. And it, it's really so many things going on. I mean, every night there's something else. Even on the night of the opening, we have Romeo and Juliet opening at the Performing Arts Center. We have Heart and Soul opening here. And there's other events opening. But so I had a show called Everything Love. And it was at City Arts Factory. And I think I had... 80 or 90 pieces of art. And people came with their children, it came with their families. There were bikers on motorcycles, there were doctors and lawyers, there were you know, young artists and, and more seasoned artists. It, it brought community together. Arts and culture bring community together. It's a safe zone. Agreed. It's a, it's a beautiful zone. It's a common ground where people can come together. and. But he does to support the arts, and he does come out for the arts. And he came to the show, and he, he. I mean, we had over 1,200 people there. Wow. Maybe 1,400 people there. Wow. He goes, there's something going on here. There's something very powerful about the love and the art. He goes, I have to think about this. And um, so we had a conversation, and I said, well, many years ago, President Nixon appointed Pearl Bailey, this famous singer. I love her, yeah. She was the ambassador of love for the United States, and then the United Nations actually appointed her the ambassador of love to the United Nations. So I guess a month went by, and my show was still up, and um, there was a big fundraiser going on with the Junior League of Orlando, and Buddy came with a proclamation, and everyone gathered around. That's amazing. And hence the official ambassador of love. He read the proclamation. It had been voted on by the city council and that was in 2007. So 11 years later, the ambassador is still hard at work bringing community together through arts and you and were culture. super And you were super um, involved and instrumental right after Pulse uh, because the city needed that. Obviously, it's such a, uh, still such a, uh, it's, oh. it's insane. It breaks my heart. Mm-hmm. But you were, that the city needed to have people surrounding them and we had so much love coming from around the world so people, yes. and our community yes. really came yes. together and I just I know that that was um, that's when we need the love the most right and it, and it still is you know we continue to uh, greet one another and remind one another what a special and enduring place Orlando can be even through this horrific tragedy that we go through we we have a special connectivity with with one another and with the world so um i love the love and, and I'm you very you to you do ambassador. such and everything that you do and by the way Gina lee gina lee duncan hey gina she's, oh, she's gina. been checking I in lately she's awesome it. she'll see you tomorrow and colleen the event uh, her uh, donna's heart and soul exhibit starts tomorrow here at the grand bohemian that's where we're at but we'll post that again because she asked and a couple of other people um, it passed me by because my eyes are not as good as they used to be Um, but you also did so I have a friend who has been uh, suffering with cancer and she's gone through pretty much every procedure twice to figure out um, where she's gonna be and try to get the healing 
and I gave her the heart that you gave oh, me. Thank you. Uh, Donna does this. So she has these amazing, they're little hearts, they're glass like uh -huh. hearts. Mm -hmm. And I know that she does, she blesses them before she gives them to everyone. And she took that with her on her last procedure. She takes it with her um, everywhere. How did you come up with that idea? Because it's, it really does mean something. When you, you gave that to me at the Women's Council event where you were the, mm -hmm. uh, one of the speakers, you got mm -hmm. up and did, mm -hmm. uh, talked about love. How did you come up with that idea? Because it's, so, it's such an interesting, neat idea, and yet so impactful. Um, for many, many years, traveling and being in the entertainment business and, and being around some people that were certainly much nicer than others and maybe weren't so nice, I've had all kinds of little tokens or a little representation of love, whether it was painted on a piece of paper or I would pick things up along the way. I would uh, have a little token of love and I would give those blessings. And then when I discovered the glass hearts, which now are getting more difficult to find or you know, people move on to other things or the supply sure. you know, changes into something else, um, I started using those as the, the token of love. And I hear these great stories where people have passed them on. And uh, We have to it, share it, right? Isn't that the whole thought yes, process? They want to share or they've passed it on or it's helped somebody. Um, and I'm very thankful for that. I'm very thankful that I feel that energy and love and, and sharing with people to help them and to help others. To me, that's the whole deal. Well, it is the whole deal, but you live it. That's the great thing. So Thank you. we this year, 2018 is the year of, in my opinion, authenticity, vulnerability, gratitude. You know, you just want to get out there and you want to tell people how you're feeling, express how you're feeling, love people, and you just live that every day. Thank Gina you. actually said she still carries her heart everywhere, <laughs> uh, which is awesome. I do. I, if, and the only reason I chose to give it away, I thought it's such a beautiful thing, and I knew that you blessed it, and I wanted her to be blessed. Um, and I love that message. I love giving it out there because that's a physical thing. I know it sounds funny, but that makes a difference when you're going through something. When you, if you look at that, you immediately feel the love that it was made from and given from and the blessing, I believe. So um, I wanted to share that. No, it's so, what you do is amazing. All right, so talk about heart and soul because we start tomorrow and we run through March 12th. Uh, give them a little background on what we're doing and I wish that we could pan up and see things but you all are going to come tomorrow at the grand opening February 9th is tomorrow at five what time six does it start to nine. Six, six to nine, to nine. see yes. no R&D here I'm sorry yeah, that's okay <laughs> and um, but yes like Ted was saying that the show runs through uh, March I oh my work is always on exhibit here just not in this massive uh, you know, exhibition that we have going on here. Um, supporting business and local business and, and supporting the community. Um, it's, it's just an amazing feeling for me to give back. The, one of the great things about being an artist is the joy of creating the pieces and then having the audience and the collectors and the friends come and connect with it and it gives it back, it pays it forward. Sure. Um, the gallery is open uh, from 10 in the morning till 7. Monday's a little different, so if you're coming, it's something that pays the call ahead to see. Sure. But Flynn is the, uh, Flynn Dobbs, the gallery director here at the Grand Bohemian. Uh, so inspiring to me. She's, she's got a degree in art and she loves art. Her parents are artists, so it's very wonderful for me. And, um, and a lot of times I'll drop in or, you know, we're going to do some other things that we'll continue to post. We're going to do an art talk with the artist. We're working on the date. Oh, I love with that. that. That's awesome. So we'll stay tuned for that. But the opening, you know, tomorrow. Tomorrow, and, 6, and, yes. And the gallery is open this evening until 7. Uh, so I'll actually be here tonight, too. We're putting the very finishing touches on the show. So if you can't come tomorrow stop by today uh, or any day sure you know Flynn will give you the tour and um, I'm not far away and sometimes I drop in too so but I'm honored and blessed 
and uh, and work hard. You know, the artists work hard. You create your work, and, and in my case, I have this whole dynamic of designing the frames and putting it together for the final presentation. You know, it's all about the presentation sure. and the love that goes into it. Well, it's a piece of you. Every is. every it piece is. is a piece of you, and so you're giving you're giving that away. I mean, that's a that's a beautiful gift to give to somebody, and I think. When you look at the art, it's amazing. It's abs it's always amazing. Thank you. Um, but it's so beautiful, and so come out tomorrow night. Like I don't want to overwhelm Flynn, but we would <laughs> love for you to come on out. Uh, you don't have to RSVP. There's no RSVP. It's at the gallery in the Grand Bohemian. It's between the bar and Starbucks. So if you haven't been in, that's where it is. You come in, and anybody will direct you here. But why not come by and, and get to talk to Donna and see some of her amazing art that's on display and on exhibit here? I mean, I just think it's, it's a, gonna be a beautiful show like it always is. See, I, I tell people that haven't been to or have not attended Heart and Soul, I mean, it is, you know, it's a community event that we've had going on for a long time. And the space is the space. And we get a lot of people that come because they wanna see the art I love having them come. I want to say hello and talk to them, but then we see each other. Right. It's the community coming together through arts and culture. We get to catch up with people, get to see people maybe we haven't seen for a while. I have people that come from out of town. I have some people coming from Miami. I have some people coming down from New York, so they're going to be supporting the business and staying here at the hotel. Love I have it. people coming over from Melbourne. and Beautiful. Um, Coming up from Fort Lauderdale, a couple people coming from New Orleans. Um, well, that's you know. because you spread the you spread the love everywhere. So, I'm just such a firm believer. You were talking about that with Dan, who happened to come in and bought one of Donna's pieces, like right here on the spot when he came in. I won't name him because I don't know him that well. But later on, maybe we'll tag Dan Dan Smith. Uh, right, Dan Smith. Uh, sorry, you know I'm going to say that. Um, there's no, secret. no secrets. No secrets. There is yeah. no secrets here. Don't come here and think there's secrets. But uh, that was so awesome that he came in and saw a piece and went for it. And I think that has to do with the fact that every one of your pieces, you can that love emanates from the piece. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I know that you put your heart and soul into it. It's it's just a beautiful collection. I I would say I. I hear people say, oh, I don't have an artistic ability, you know, at all. I don't, I wish I did, I wish I could create. Well, we all can. That I, I'm self-taught. I, I didn't go to school. I sat down and I started drawing or, you know, talking to other artists. Um, school is great. There are a lot of amazing, you know, educated, fine artists that continue to grow their art and it's, it's all what you think it is. Like Andy Warhol said, are you an artist? Yes. Yes. We, at one time in our lives, we're all an artist. Now what we do with it, that's our choice and that's up to us. So I've, before we wrap up, I've got to ask, because I love <laughs> everything about Andy Warhol. How was that relationship? How was that meeting? Was, it, was he as eccentric as everyone portrays? Yes. Right? Okay, so he, was, he had that artist thought process, that artist head, that artist heart. Um, but I just, I know that he is infamous for his eccentricities. Uh -huh. And, and but many how, artists are. And, and many absolutely. artists are, performing artists. But how wonderful yeah. to give you still, because I think artists have a heart, obviously, so to give you that positive encouragement, like, okay, make a choice. Are you an artist or aren't you an artist? Basically is what he was saying. Are yes. you going to are you going to do it? Is it real? Because yeah, it if it's real, to get going with right? But how it wonderful! Twelve or he didn't years. say, "Oh my God, Donna, you draw like a four-year-old." Um, he didn't say any of that I didn't stuff. Show him any samples <laughs> of my work. It was a fleeting moment. He was traveling with the Rolling Stones and watching the Of course, he was. And the whole entourage, and it was just I had to make sure he got to his designated location uh, because Mick Jagger said, make sure he's there at that time. Understood. So I did. So he just throws names I out just, like Mick I Jagger. That, well, I'm just, loving it. I've had an amazing life. You have. Hard, um, lots of challenges. Um, but you continue to be a but blessing. But I, I want to. You I, are. I, I choose that. People ask me so many times, how are you doing? How's everything going? 
good. I choose good. Right. It's not always good, and some days are certainly more difficult than others, as we all know. But we all have the ability to love, and we can give that and share that and, and be that. I think that's so important for people to hear. We talk about it on the show all the time. Uh, so Donna's got an art exhibit here. Her life isn't perfect every single day, <laughs> right? You didn't, some days you wake up and they're not as good. And I think people need to hear that because I think people sometimes look at a show and then they're so hard on themselves. They're like, I'm not an artist. I'm not this, I'm not that. Donna certainly can't have a bad day. She can have a bad day, but oh, what, I do. how she chooses I do. to deal with it. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's just a matter of how you choose to deal with it. But know that we all have bad days. And I, I, get a lot of res I get a lot of private messages about this. Thank you, Ted, for saying that. I want everyone to know that Donna Dallas, does, she is amazing. She has a bad day. She's going to have a bad day. I do. All right, any parting words for them? Anything um, you want to share think, with them? Well, just take time to love. And let's have a little more compassion. People say, what is your like New Year's resolution or what is this? My, my continued message is give me more strength for kindness. Give me more strength for love. Give me more strength to share and more strength for patience. So I wish that for all of us. I wish more love for all of us. I wish more caring and sharing. You know, to love and be loved is the greatest gift of all. And I love you all so much. I'm honored and thrilled. Come out and see the show, Heart and Soul. We all we all have a little heart and soul. We do. We're going to give you some more at the Grand Bohemian uh, tomorrow night, six to nine. Friday, February 9th, here at the Grand Bohemian. And I'll be I'll be here. So she'll be here. It's amazing. So we love you. Thank you so much for all you do. I, I think you're you. absolutely yeah. amazing. She's just beautiful we'll post all of the information again thank you guys we love you so much uh and now um flynn is going to hit the little finish button